There's our new centre console for a B200. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> There's our new centre console for our uh, Bell 206 uh, helicopters. Um, we have the backlighting turn on there, and we can turn on the radio, which is we've got this one set up as COM2 and NAV2 because uh, our customer actually has um, an Emu Tech GNS530 um, to fit into there. This one he already has a little um, audio panel to fit into that as well. So if we come back down here, we can turn on the ADF and transponder, um, and we can also turn on the DME. Now, we have the flight sim as uh, paused right at the moment, uh, but I shall go and unpause it, and we can turn the DME on. And there we have uh, it switched uh, looking at uh, NAV2 or VOR2 um, at the moment, and um, switch it to nav1 and there's the distance to the station speed in knots and how many minutes it will take and the aeroplane is actually flying between two airports at the moment um, so that we'll see that the airspeed is much the same because it's going almost directly between the two airfields and we see here that um, this distance is Increasing, increasing, slowly, and this one should be decreasing, slowly, and it is. Alright, um, we have dual encoders on uh, on all of the tuning on here. Uh, the lower one on the ADF does the, the left hand three digits, and the top one does the right hand two. So you can tune to whatever you want to do there. Likewise over here for the transponder. The transponder. Uh, likewise we can adjust the right hand two digits and the left hand two digits. And they only rotate from zero to seven. And you can wind it back down, down through and back up to the top end again. Likewise with the radios. Um, bottom encoder, top encoder. Alright, we can see here now that we have uh, the DME, we're looking at uh, whatever uh, NAV2 is tuned to. NAV2 is, is, NAV2 is tuned up on here. If we tune it away from the station, the DME stops operating. Tune it back to the station again, and more delay, and we're back operating again. Alright. Let's put some lights on so you can see it properly. There's the lights, it should brighten up a wee bit. Um, then um, on the FS panel up on here is to connect to some of our other equipment. At the moment it's not connected to anything. Uh, but there's our little um, octagonal device there for the course. And our special little um, heading. Uh, knob with the little serrations on it. All the buttons for the range, uh, HSI, NAV, all operate on there. Um, for the Bell 206 um, systems that we make, we have a dim bright arrangement for the caution lights on the uh, main instrument panel as well. So that's about it.